Hi there, I just thought I'd give you an update on the, on the VT1 Delatronics valve tester that I'm building. Uh, you can see my other videos on it if you look at my channel. This board here is responsible for the bias. Um, you see that uh, regulator there, that is uh, the negative um, bias. And uh, the bias control is on this Bourne's pot and I can get a range from something like uh, 1.2 volts negative up to 1.2 shall I say and it would go right down to um, 29 minus 29 volts so that's good enough for the bias uh, the heater I've had tremendous problems with um, had to replace a few resistors there's a resistor there you can see that's originally a quarter watt but it didn't work so I had to put a a two watt in there. I had to also um, uh, swap the values. Um, if you look at the data sheet for the LM338, if you look at the data sheet, it says that um, 240 ohms or 270 ohms can go there, but I found best results with uh, 120 ohms, so that's what I put in there. Now, this has been a big, big problem because. I originally bought a couple of uh, TO22 style LM338s uh, here uh, in Curitiba from the component shops and they were absolute rubbish, Chinese rubbish. And um, I turned this on with just one element connected. And you see it's connected there to, um, yeah, it's still, still glowing. It's connected there to pin four. Pin four is one side and pin five is the other. So you connect the negative to pin nine and the positive to pin four on for one side, the positive to pin four on the other side, or you, you short pin four and pin five out to have both elements on simultaneously. Now the draw of count on this is very small, probably, you know, about 0.4 of that, 0.4 of an amp depending on the valve you know uh, I think the, the most um, it's drawn probably is something like an EL34 which approaches up to one and a half amps I believe um, so anyway this LM338 are uh, rated at five amps so they should have worked but uh, they just pegged out they couldn't even handle half an amp with a 0.7 an amp surge and they completely went both of them so I was a bit disgusted with that and I checked my circuit many times to see if I'd made a mistake and I hadn't so I went to another shop locally and I bought this one which is uh, which is a K version LM338K this is mounted to a heat sink and this I think is rated for the same 5 amps but obviously it's a bit better um, constructed a bit, a bit better for heat dissipation now this works on one side fine as soon as I connected both the elements up which should only have taken a maximum of less than an amp this blew and I had 30 volts on the, on the output which obviously doesn't do the valve any good but it didn't blow it up in this case because I was quick to spot it absolutely terrible so basically everything that I'm buying now in Curitiba from the town center is fake and I've looked at the the codes and everything in the printing and I found the same items on Aliexpress for virtually nothing you know um, three quid for ten or something like that so they're buying these things in very cheap from Aliexpress and they don't work at all so what did I do? Well, um, I'm thinking of using uh, LM317, which is only rated for one and a half amps, which isn't gonna be good enough for an EL34 heater. Um, it probably would be good for everything else. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buy a 2N3055 transistor, put it in the circuit in order to take away some of the current from this. There are um, schematics online which show you where to place it. So I'm going to buy 
a 2M3055 tomorrow. Uh, I just hope that, you know, if it is a clone, that it will at least handle the excess current. I mean, it's got to the point really, unfortunately here in Brazil, where you cannot buy anything that is genuine. It's all AliExpress rubbish from China. So, you know, unfortunately I'm going to have to shut down my service centre here because I cannot get parts. Um, I could order them from RS and finally in the UK and have them shipped over, but it's just too much hassle really. So I'm going to shut this down here. There's several things going on in Brazil at the moment politically which aren't good as well. Um, so I'm coming back to England basically in June. And I'll be um, doing a load of Valve stuff, be doing CD players, reel-to-reels, all sorts of things. I'll be authorised by Roland, which I still am authorised by Roland. And I'm just going to start up Delatronics again. It might take me a few months to get into it, but I will be back. So watch this space. As for Brazil, I love the country Brazil, but um, at the moment it's not a good place potentially to live for the future because uh, it looks like it's going to go communist here unfortunately because of our lovely president um, I don't know it's not good Bolsonaro is, is the best president Brazil has had for a long time in my opinion um, and in most people's opinion around here as well everyone is very worried about um, the government at the moment here and I know the world is uh, turned upside down since COVID. It seems like the WEF have got control of everywhere, got their fingers in all the pies, and they're trying to destroy society as we know it, really. But, you know, a lot of people listening to this might think that's a bit far fetched, but I don't think it is. I really don't. Uh, you know, and I think it's going to might be a struggle in the UK as well because that's got its own problems, like extremely high rental prices and everything. So, but anyway, I cannot stay in a country like this. And uh, this is the icing on the cake: the fact that I cannot get a genuine component that will actually work. So, there we go. Anyway, thanks very much, much for watching. If you've had similar problems with. Uh, with junk Chinese rubbish in your country, wherever you happen to be looking, then, uh, you know, put a comment in the bottom. Uh, please like this video and subscribe if you've got any, um, if you like my content. Uh, not that I'm particularly worried about having a, a huge following or anything like that, but uh, I might be able to monetize my channel if I get over a thousand subscribers, and I'm at 750 at the moment, so, any sort of money I can get in the better really because I'm, I'm still disabled I still walk around with crutches there's absolutely zero help in Brazil for this as well so there we go I don't want to play my fiddle or anything like that but um, I'm going to try and bring you some really good content when I get back to the UK I'll be bringing you some content on uh, Revox reel to reels I know they've been popular um, the old Philips CD players as well and also um, valve stuff and all sorts of electronic stuff so stay tuned and I hope you enjoyed the video